what is organic chemistry? And how is organic chemistry different from general chemistry? Well, in everyday English, we, we have a definition of the word organic. We use the word organic to refer to something that is non-toxic or not hazardous, something that is natural, uh, something that is, is free of pesticides, something along those lines. You have an idea in your head of what it means when somebody says, this is an organic apple, or this is organic milk. It's got this connotation of, of being safe and clean and healthy. That is absolutely not the definition of organic from a scientific perspective. To a scientist, organic is uh, a word that we use to describe a molecule that is primarily made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms. Mostly carbons and hydrogens. Not exclusively carbons and hydrogens, but the majority of the atoms in this molecule are carbons and hydrogens. So uh, a molecule that has mostly carbons and hydrogens can be called an organic molecule. We also call it a hydrocarbon. Uh, and that, that term, hydrocarbon, should make sense to you because it's coming from the hydrogen and the carbon that are the primary components of the molecule. So organic chemistry is the study of organic molecules uh, in reference to the, def the scientific definition of an organic molecule. It's the study of hydrocarbons or the molecules that are mostly made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms. And... Um, so that's one way that it's different from general chemistry. In general chemistry, we focus on fundamental chemical principles like thermodynamics and entropy and, and equilibrium and kinetics. And in organic chemistry, we, we focus our study on hydrocarbons exclusively. So in terms of focusing on hydrocarbons, what do we actually study? What do we study about these hydrocarbons? we are going to study kind of in, in order of how much time we devote to these different topics. We study the physical properties. We don't spend a lot of time on this because it doesn't take a lot of time, but we study things like at what temperature do different hydrocarbons boil? At what temperature do they freeze? And can we make predictions about their, their boiling points and their freezing points or melting points? We also study nomenclature. And this is another one that we don't spend a ton of time on. Um, we study how organic molecules are named. And this is actually really important because organic chemistry is, is really its own language. And so being able to understand what somebody is saying when they're talking about molecules is, is pretty fundamental. We also spend time studying the characterization or the identification of hydrocarbons. This is, this is something that we do study a little bit in general chemistry. Like it's pretty normal to be given unknowns in general chemistry lab and, and you have to figure out what the molecule is or, or a variety of molecules, you have to figure out what they are. We go into a lot more depth on this topic in organic chemistry. So this is um, using instrumentation, using equipment and machines to very accurately identify organic molecules. And then last but not least, and the thing that we spend the most time on 
is studying the reactions of organic molecules or the reactions of our hydrocarbons. So we want to be able to make predictions about how two organic molecules will react or interact with each other. We want to be able to predict the structures of the products that are formed from these reactions. We also want to be able to look at a molecule and come up with a, a way, a hypothesis or a prediction about how that molecule could be synthesized. So if somebody came to you and said, could you make this on an industrial level? You could say, absolutely, yes, I, I know how to do that. This reaction, studying reactions, this is something that we, we spend some time on in general chemistry, but not in the same level. In general chemistry, we really focus on balancing equations, predicting the products of some reactions like precipitation reactions or acid-base reactions, but that's very different from the depth that we go into in organic chemistry. When we are studying reactions in organic chemistry, we are really focusing on not just balancing an equation or predicting the precipitation products, we're focusing on the electrons so we want to study the, the movement of electrons during a chemical reaction. We want to understand why the electrons are doing what they're doing. We study the movement of the electrons as bonds are being broken and bonds are being formed during these reactions and understanding developing a really strong understanding of what motivates these electrons to move because that's what we need to do in order to be able to make predictions about reactions.